Howdy you cool cats, this is Mina with another episode of Danganronpa Ultra Despair Girls and um, if I sound a little sniffly or sick it's because I think I'm starting to come down with something but I really want to beat this game and I'm going to do my best to not sound sick as I play this game. Uh, I've already looked around here for a sparkle and I, I just don't see any so the the thing I'm planning turn, on- Turn, turn, turn. I'm getting dizzy. <laughs> You're right. Ugh. Do you have a paper bag on you? The thing is, is I really want to beat this game today, so I'm actually going to shoot for beating this game in one go, which means if I miss a sparkle, there's, there's no turning back. Even if uh, this is split up into like four separate videos, or I'm just guessing four, even if it gets split up into four separate videos, if I miss a sparkle, there's there's no way to turn or, turn around. Um, so I'm gonna be extra vigilant in trying not to miss anything. Um, so I, I re oh god, I feel strongly that there should have been a sparkle here, and I and I haven't seen it, and it's making me kind of feel really negative. But what can you do, right? If I don't see it, I don't see it. I don't see it. If, if you saw it as I was climbing and I, I missed it, be sure to yell at me in the comment section. Alright, but let's move on! How... How did That's I get it. here? This huge airship is the Excalibur! I'm confused about the placement of the door I just entered. It was like a tiny tube. Does that thing even fly? It looks like a floating hotel. Oh. Hmm. Did it go up higher in the air? I don't get the placement of all this. All right. This is clearly. Whoa! That's a yeah. lot of them. Nothing but chumps. Let's end this. Okay. That went on forever. Finally, we're free of interruptions. All we gotta do now is get in the airship. Then let's hurry and end this. Okay, it's been so long since I've seen Sparkle. Surely there's one here. Oh my god! Oh my god! Come together! Did, did I miss one? Oh god, did I miss one? No! No! Oh my god, I missed one somewhere! Ah! Uh, well... I thought to myself, I was like, I don't feel, I feel like I skipped Kotoko somewhere. I have no fracking idea where I missed her. I'm sorry. Wherever it was, it's gone hey, now. Toko? What? A lot of terrible things happen to me in this city. 
and I have a lot of bad memories. But I am so happy that I was able to meet you. Why are you saying this all of a sudden? You can say that stuff after everything's over. <laughs> You're right. Great. I'm sure that girl Monica is in that huge hall all the way in the back. Come on out, Monica Moose. safe area. Sparkle! I really, really love Big Sis Junko so much that the word love isn't enough! I love Big Sis Junko who shine light upon Monica's world. If only I could see her one more time. If only that horrible day never happened. Monica will do anything it takes. Monica will cut her wrists. Monica will drink poison. Monica doesn't need her eyes, ears, nose, or mouth. But yeah, I know. No matter how many painful things I do, no matter how many shameful things I do, it won't change the facts. Monica will just end up hurt and ashamed. I know that. Monica knows that. But because I know that, without a doubt, Monica feels lonely and sad and empty. I just want to die. I know. That's why I feel hatred. That's why I want to kill them all so bad. That's why I thought of the idea of the successor. Just a little bit more, please, just a little bit more, and the world will know despair once again. I. Am. So right. She is trying to make... Kamaru become Junko. So that way she can have Junko again in her life. I don't... I actually don't need... The... Uh, oh, shoot. I actually don't need any, um, any, any, uh, words. Oh, wait, no, I do. The link. Why did I never include anything for the link? Okay, there we go. Yeah, now they're all happy. So I don't really need to buy that, so I guess I can just upgrade... Burn ammo is full. Okay, so oh, the map of this place is unknown. Well, I feel strongly that that way must be the way forward. So let's go down these hallways. Um, okay. Wow, oh, there's so many twists and turns. Okay, there's a sparkle here, though. Oh! <laughs> I'm the prince of inspiration. The strongest land animal is the hippo. It's decided. The skin is four centimeters thick. Four whole centimeters. That's about the thickness of an omelet. I got it. I totally got it. The sadness I felt was really not just not having a peace of mind. I'm sad that mommy hates me because I'm not at peace. <laughs> if that's the case, it's simple. If I don't want to be sad, all I have to do is change the peaceful place. I just have to believe that being hated makes me at peace. If I can do that, even when she tells me to die, I will always be at peace. I've heard that there will be clear weather after a typhoon. I don't think they were talking about families. The more mommy hates me, the better it makes me feel. Now I can stay by mommy's side forever at peace. Oh, that's... That's effed up, man. Okay, so this is a dead end. What is the point of all this? Okay, so this is a dead end. What is the point of all this? I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. It's all my fault. It's all my fault I don't know how to buy alcohol properly. 
It's my fault that I cough when you smoke. It's my fault, and that's why Dad gets mad at me. I'm sorry for making you look like the bad guy. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'm the one who's at fault, and I'm sorry I made you look like the bad guy. Please don't throw me away. Please stay with me. Please keep being my dad. Oh. Christ, I... Oh, God. I do not want to read Kodoko's thing. Please. Ugh. Oh. I can think of a million things I'd rather do than read that. Oh, <laughs> Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers, a peck of pickled peppers Peter Piper picked. There's a ton of reasons tongue twisters are hard to say, but I think that it comes from having to suddenly start with another consonant sound. Humans are weak to sudden changes. I dislike sudden things too. Old men just suddenly start talking about it. Mommy suddenly starts crying. Just thinking about it makes my tummy squeeze. Why do I have to feel like this? I'm fine with normal. I don't need to sparkle. Mommy tells me it's too late once you're old. Mommy says youth isn't eternal, but I didn't even want to start. Youth might not be eternal, but I'm sure knowledge is. But I cannot say that to Mommy. If I say something like that, Mommy will cry. Even though it hurts, even though it's scary, it makes me sad when old men are gentle to me. Making Mommy cry hurts more, so I might as well just be gentle all the time. If I hold one little pain and fear and sadness, Mommy doesn't have to cry a single tear. Oh! So upsetting. I'm the worst. It's a horrible result. I feel so worthless. I want to die. Why am I like this? Why can't I just be better? My father had such high hopes for me, but I couldn't meet his expectations. Not even once. It's all meaningless. It's because I wasn't good enough. It's stupid of father to expect so much from a worthless fool like me. Why am I me? Why wasn't I born better? Why am I not a child father wanted? Excuses aren't gonna help me now. My hopeless idiots fritter away with their lives with self-hatred. I'm time. I need to work even harder. I need to live up to father's expectations. No matter how high they are. I don't want to disappoint him. Never again. Oh, there's one here. The family from the day before yesterday. Author Toku Fukawa. So this is your book, huh? Why is there no synopsis written here? I'm sure you wouldn't know this, but that's not rare among pure novels. The name is prestigious as mine, you don't need a summary to move units. <laughs> but because this is written by a friend, I at least want to know the synopsis. <laughs> okay, as a friend I'll tell you. Since you're listening to the author herself, you better clean your, your ears and listen carefully. Hmm. Wait, oh... Well, actually, never mind. It's fine. Continue. Don't mess with What's me! What's the problem? Calling me a friend like that, then snatching away my moment for away from me, you sadist? Oh. It's not like that. I just think that maybe because it's your book, I should go into it cold. Well... If that's the case, I guess I understand. You should make your... But you should be more clear when you speak. You startled me so much. You nearly made me forget the idea for my next book. Huh? Oh, you already have an idea for your next work? Isn't that obvious? Who do you think I am? I always have more than 200 ideas in stock. I just haven't decided which idea to use. Well, then maybe it would be fun to write about your own experience. Like in this town. You're right. Write about my own experience, huh? I've heard that advice before. I've already decided not to write about this town. Or... Maybe I should say that even if I do end up writing something, I would never publish it. Yeah. I'd want to read about it, though. A novel about this city written by you. <laughs> like a novel written about me. About this town and what happened to you. Um... I'd rather keep it a memory. A memory just for myself. No, that's wrong! Huh? Wait, what? What I mean is, it's not just your memory. It's both our memories together. <laughs> right? Hmm. You're an average idiot, but your hairstyle is weird. Jeez! It's not weird. My antenna is charming and really pretty. Jeez, I thought you were actually going to say something nice to me. Not in a thousand years. But you made me happy. Hmm? Did you say something? 
You didn't hear me? I said that you're an average idiot with a weird hairstyle and brother complex. <laughs> really? I thought you said... Really? I thought I heard you say you made me happy. Don't mess with me! What? So you did hear me! <laughs> okay, so... Interesting, that dead end actually had something. Why wasn't there anything in the other dead end? Or was it just to make the whole place symmetrical? Going down, down, and maybe around. And sugar would go. Jeez. The atmosphere in here is practically screaming final boss fight. Uh oh. Toko? We're gonna be alright, aren't we? We've come this far already. Don't go freaking out now. They should be scared of us. You're right. Yeah, I guess you're right. After all, we're a powerful team. Wait, powerful team? Can't you think of a cooler name than that? Well, then you think of one. You're the ultimate writing prodigy, after all. Yeah, you're right. I'll think of something after the happy ending. Yeah, after the happy ending. Did Kamara's voice actress change or something? Like her, her like vocals seem different. Like I don't know. Like she got different voice direction. I've I've been noticing it kind of a little bit while I've been playing, but it it feels like she got like some weird vocal direction at some point that just like made her speak differently. Anyways, it's my imagination. Let's just move on. Hey, so you finally decide to show up, huh? So slow! This isn't a manga! It shouldn't take a whole year for a day to pass! A black Monokuma? What is he? He looks vulgar. Hey, fuck off, Four-Eyes! I wouldn't expect some pasty Four-Eyes emo chick to understand my charm! I get no respect. Yo! I'm so baller, if a professional musician ever came to my concert, they'd retire the next day. I'd make them choke on the haterade, and you're gonna be choking too when I'm done with you. What is this thing? Blabbering on with its nonsense. What am I gonna do? Fight this, uh, fight this Monokuma? <laughs> Could it? Does it have an AI like Shirokuma? Did you say Shirokuma? So you know him, huh? How's little bro doing? You guys are related? Brothers? Well, he's like a brother. We bear folks stick together, you know. But that ain't important. Don't you think it's strange, huh? Weird? I'm talking about why Monica ain't here. To tell you the truth, it's nap time for little Monica. Nap time? Well, yeah, she's still a kid after all. She wore herself out being all hyped up. What is this? If you're brave enough chicks to disturb her nap, you can always try opening the door. Which door? Hell if I know. Monica made this little trap to keep out big mouths like me, see? If you open the wrong door, blammo! Instant dust! <clears throat> Hello, nasty. But if you leave her be, she'll sleep for like three years. Now what you what you gonna do? Hurry, choose! Damn it, you're making me impatient! Kamaru, you've seen that Monica kid before, right? So what do you think? Any idea which door she would choose? Hmm. Rather than choose, it's more like... Which would she even be able to access? But it can't be that simple. He said it's a trap, so it can't be easy. What? Her room is the one up the ladder? Y yeah, you're right. Are you sure? If you solve this quiz, you won't get to hear all the bitchin' lines I worked on. Are you just gonna chatter away? Hmm. Um. Hmm. Yeah, because, like, if you're in a wheelchair, you could go up that, up that ramp. So that would make these two doors irrelevant. And because we saw that hmm. room with all of Junko's pictures up a ladder... The title of Voice of a Generation hasn't been taken yet, so I think I'll take it. Thank you. 
So, is the implication here that she's not actually handicapped? Because hmm. I gotta tell you, if if she was actually handicapped, like, this ladder does not look... It would hurt so much for me to climb this ladder. Come on, stop taking this so seriously and help me come up with ways we can combine together. What <laughs> are you talking about? Yeah. Good morning. Good morning. She's not handicapped. Well, you're so full of lies, aren't you? She stood up. Monica is standing. Huh. I thought that's Haiji's line. I knew it. You can stand. Your legs aren't paralyzed. Oh? But you look at that! You're totally right. And you were like that from the beginning, right? You just pretended to be disabled. Uh, don't tell me. You saw my secret room, didn't you? So that was your room. I saw the photo of you and Junko, so... I figured that was your room. But something didn't add up. To even get to that room, you have to climb up a ladder. There's no way you would make a place like that your room if your legs were disabled. Right, you wouldn't aim for that. I see. So that's how you figured it out. <laughs> you might have a stupid looking face, but you sure are pretty smart. But why pretend that you're disabled? I don't know, for stupid pity points, I guess? Because pitiful children are the most powerful, don't you think? Yeah. Huh? Monica's home life was terrible. She didn't feel like she built up Monica was more Oops. brilliant than her brother or her father. They hated her for it. But then, I thought of a way I could counter their neglect and cruelty. All I had to do was become a pitiful figure. Then, I would have the whole world's sympathy. The wheelchair was inconvenient, of course. But thanks to the act, I acquired much. I even acquired the Warriors of Hope. And Papa and Big Brother were a little nicer to me, too. They thought they were the reason I ended up in a wheelchair, so they really pitied me. You tricked everyone all this time. You... You're the worst. You're more awful than all the other kids. Maybe. But to survive in that horrible world, I had to be. When Monica talks, everyone freezes. When Monica smiles, everyone stops smiling. For Monica, the outsider, the eyesore, to survive in that house, she did what she had to do. I want to ask you, the Papa and Big Brother you mentioned, are they from the Toa family? Oh, so you know that much too. See, Toko? wasn't a hallucination. The ghost was real. Your voice and your character expression don't match. It's a coincidence. Delusion and fantasy with a little coincidence mixed in. It's true. Fantasy and reality overlap sometimes. I'm so desperate to make my fantasies real. That's why whenever I think about the girl I like, uh. I strip her naked in my mind and pose her. Okay, now's not the time for that talk. So you're the one who made Kamaru come here by using that skinny white-haired boy, right? Why would you do something that could compromise your own plan? My plan? Oh, you mean the children's paradise. Well, personally, I don't really care about that. Monica has a much more important job to do. Does it have something to do with the successor? Yep, that's right. The successor is the most important thing to Monica. And for that plan, I wanted you to come this far, Big Sis. After all, you are essential for the successor. Mm. <laughs> huh? Just what I'd expect from the little sister of the ultimate hope. You're so impressive, Meow. Completely different than when I first met you. 
Now, you have the face of a savior. Savior? Kamaru has the face of a high school girl you'd find anywhere. But who cares about any of this? Hurry up and hand over the key to Master's room. Key? Monica doesn't have anything like that. You're a liar. Don't play dumb. Hand it over. Like I said, I don't have it. You want to strip search me to make sure? Monica doesn't mind. But weren't you guys in a hurry? What? You want to break this controller, right? You want to stop Mr. Monokuma, right? It, is that... Monica Toa, Chief Executive of Toa Group Robotics Branch. This is the magic that Monica invented. And as long as Monica has her magic, Monica can control the Monokumas and the Monokuma kids. Y you're the one brainwashing them too? Obviously. Huh? You didn't know that? Hmm. This idiot brat slipped up. In that case, I'll make you hand over the controller by force. And after that, I'm going to make you hand over the key to Master's room with even more force. Hmm. No, I don't think that's possible. After all, I have a trump card. A trump card? A super big, awesome battle robot the Toa Group Robotics Branch created. That is Monica's masterpiece. It's so much better than the other Warriors of Hope robots. So, Mr. Kurokuma, I leave it to you. Hell yeah! Leave it to me, Monica! All the robots combined. Robots. Now let's do our best with the boom boom and beat this thing with the kablam! Well, that's not how I would have said it, but nevertheless, I am feeling pretty fired up. Oh, jeez. The blinking part looks suspicious. Yeah. Tomorrow, let's end this. Who's a bad boy? Who's a good boy? Who's a normal boy? Where is another blinking spot? Oh, there's one. one came out. Oh, oh, him! You sure try hard. Do you really want to save the adults that badly? Do you really want the burden of hope on your shoulders? <laughs> Check out the website for more info! Boy, who's a good boy? Who's a normal boy? There it is. Now this is straight up stimulating. What a shocking turn of events. What are all these? Yeah, you know the fucking drill. This is 
is for the sake of... I forgot his name, um... That hero guy who got bullied by adults! Who's a bad boy? Who's a good boy? Who's a normal boy? Check out the website for more info! What the fudge? Watch out! It might be a nuclear warhead! Or was it nuclear? <laughs> this is for the sake of the stage guy! The one who got crushed by his heavy burdens! Yeah, you know the fucking drill! On now. This is for the sake of what's your name? Um, the fighter who fell victim to the male gaze. Yeah. Mm. Oh, thank God. Right. Just, just die. Oh. Sure, save my progress. <laughs> Go for it. Right. Now, be a good little girl and just give up. Oh, no! Is Monica gonna be killed? I don't wanna die. No, there's no way I'd kill you. Of course not. But if you don't hand over that controller, it will not be pleasant. No, that's no good. If this controller is destroyed, Monica's plan will fail. And if that happens, Monica can no longer be the successor. That's enough! Just hurry up and hand it over, or I swear I will spank you good! <laughs> oh. Fine. If I break this, the Monokuma stop, and the brainwashing helmets will deactivate, right? I didn't find the last sparkle. And then this uprising will be over. But that was... Well, it was kind of easy. Is it really okay? Hm. Ramen broth and climaxes should always be light. Or would you prefer an ending that has us getting beaten up and thrown from one despair to another? Just like your older brother. I, I, I don't want that, but... Well, you're forgetting the real happy ending comes after we rescue Master. So let's hurry up and end this. Uh, um... It's really okay to break this, right? It's obviously okay. You can stop the Monokumas and the brainwash gets lifted. So... Does, like, breaking this destroy, like, the Monokumas? Like, they just all explode? What if breaking this does the same thing with the Monokuma helmets? What if that explodes and we kill off a bunch of kids with, with breaking this? Right. Oh, wait, that's totally what it is! Oh, that's totally what it is! We can't break this! Oh, no! No, 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 no. I don't. You're way too happy. W what, what are you doing? S sorry, something is concerning me. Concerning you? Concerning you? Concerning or disconcerting? Could it be that maybe you want to be Monica's ally at the last minute? So you're hesitant. Hes 
No need to hesitate. Just break the controller. End this already. You, you're right. Nose! Please wait! Y you? Why are you here? Don't! Don't break the controller! Yay! Kotoko, you came to save me! Shut up! Who the hell would want to save you? Huh? I didn't know breaking the controller would also end the brainwashing. That would be bad. If it's just the Monokumas, that's fine. But the kids, we lose all the friends we made. If that happens, I'm gonna be all alone. What friends? You brainwashed them. But even then, I don't want to be alone. Please, pretty, please don't take my friends away. Kotoko's right. Don't break that controller. If you don't, I promise, I'll kill all of the adults and build paradise. Sh shut your mouth, traitor! Kotoko, why are you saying such mean things? We're friends. N no, we're not! You're just a traitor who killed your own friends! Oh, please. Please forgive me. Let's just forgive and forget. Live in the now. Let's kill adults together again. Shut up! Be quiet! Die! What's going on? Just let those idiots fight. Hurry up and break the controller. N no! Stop! Please, leave me just some hope. I'll even settle for just a little. W what hope? You really think there's hope for you guys? Kotoko, just... You can just let this all go. There, there can be redemption for you. I don't think breaking this controller is a good idea, though. I'm, I'm pretty sure Monica wants me to break this controller now. Miss Kumara Nayaki, please listen to Monica's request too. Please, make the right choice. If you don't choose right, you're gonna replay this moment over and over. What? <laughs> So make the correct choice and end this properly. Correct choice? I don't... Kamaru? What happened? Huh? You're not gonna break it? That's weird. Why not? Didn't you want to stop those crazy kids? Didn't you want to be the heroine of this dirty, lame penal colony? Didn't you want to be everyone's hope? Just like your brother? I... I... Are you sure? If you don't break the controller now, this will just repeat over and over. Oh, hold on a second. This is backwards. Why do you suddenly want her to destroy the controller? Yeah! <laughs> Sh shut up! You be quiet! Toko, what should I do? I will leave that decision to you. But, but, uh, however, because I'm leaving it to you, I will share the responsibility as well. So, just do what you think is best. What I think is best. No, 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 no. We ain't breaking this. We are not breaking this. Don't break the controller. No, 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 no. Monica wants this broken, and I want whatever the Don't opposite of what Monica wants. Break it. At least, not right now. Th that's right. Good. Thank you, Big Sis. Thank you so much for not breaking Monica's special controller. Geez, which side are you on? It would be such a bummer if the end credits started rolling before all the cast was here. Cast? Hmm. He'll be here soon. Probably running down the hallway right now. See? His hand's on the door!
found you, Monica. See? Just like Monica said! Bullseye! We do have a sibling connection after all. Y you Why are you here? Um, he's coming here to snatch the controller out of my hand and smash this thing. Oh god, are we gonna have like a bunch of kids all over the world just head exploding? That's gonna be devastating. I don't want to see that. Ugh. Big Brother came to save Monica, right? They're being so mean. Everybody's bullying Monica. Monica's getting picked on by the kids and the adults. Isn't that awful? Big Brother, save Monica. Don't tell me that's what you're actually here for. Yeah, right. <laughs> oh. Don't be an idiot. Who the hell's gonna save you? B Big Brother? Stop calling me that. You're not my sister. You're just the old man's mistake. I didn't want you around. I never thought of you as family. Why? Why are you being so mean? Monica's just a child. You're no child. You're a brat who never learned her place. And now it's biting you in the ass. It's over, Monica. I'm finishing this now. Please, stop it, brother. I'm scared. Mr. Haiji. So that's the controller for the Monokumas. Huh? What are you doing? Hurry up and destroy it! End this nightmare already! Yeah, I don't trust that this is just gonna destroy Monokumas. Please stop! If you destroy the controller, all of Monica's hard work will be wasted! I won't be able to create the successor! I won't be able to inflict despair on the world! How crazy are you? Now hurry! Hurry and destroy it! I, I know, but... Don't! You can't destroy it! This is some kind of trap! Destroy it! Destroy it, Kamaru! What's going on? Yeah, right. Not destroying it. Where is it? No, don't break the controller. Don't break it. Ah, I'm glad you understood us. What is this? Why are you siding with those brats? I I'm not siding with them or anything. Did you forget what they did? If that's the case, then shut up and listen. Listen? Outside were watching. They saw you defeat Monica's robot. I'm, I'm, I'm a little mystified as to like. Uh, okay, so like, I, 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 I'm pretty sure that destroying this will like kill off all the Monokuma kids and the Monokumas. I'm pretty sure of that. But what is the purpose of this? Does this like somehow like because Kamaru made the choice to blow everyone's heads up or whatever, that she'll just fall to despair and become Junko? Is that like what Monica's endgame is? I'm I, I think that's what it is. I just don't get it. What? You did this, didn't you? You're filming all of this! Huh? Monica has no idea. You're a big fat liar. They're still watching. They're waiting for you to destroy that controller. Everyone expects it from you. They're waiting for you to wake them up from this nightmare. You showed us hope. We were able to finally stand up to those brats because of your speech. That's why I'm even here. That's why I'm not afraid of these kids anymore. It's all thanks to you. You are hope itself to us. 
But if you still can't make up your mind, I'll just have to help you choose. Ow. Tell them what you've done. Everything. The whole truth. Then there's no way they'd side with you. Uh, everything? The reason why you want a successor. Everything. Tell them the truth. Or I'll make sure you regret it. Fine, I'll talk. Okay, I'm, um, I, is this gonna be? It all started when I was still attending the Hope's Peak Academy Elementary School. Monica did a little prank to convince the Warriors of Hope to commit suicide. Wait, wait what? That was a prank? Oh, of course. Monica didn't intend to end her own life at all. But you all took it so seriously. And around then, Monica met Big Sis Junko with the most miraculous timing. The moment Monica saw her, Monica understood. Big Sis Junko is light itself that will shine down on Monica's boring little world. It's a miracle! Thank you, God! At least, at the time I thought it was a miracle. But later I learned it was inevitable. She came into my life just to take advantage of me. Take advantage? By then, Monica was already a chief executive at Toa Group's robotics branch. Oh, Big Brother, I'm sorry about that. Wasn't it painful to watch your little sister surpass you? And I'm also sorry to you, Kotoko. You didn't want to hear that little truth, did you? Big Sis Junko only cared about Monica. The other Warriors of Hope were just bonuses. D don't make stuff up! Big Sis loved us all! Love? What are you talking about? There's no way someone would love you. Your own parents didn't even love you. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Ah. Oh. Oh, can I just kick Monica in the face just one time? You know, just like one quick, swift kick to the face. Knock some teeth out. I'd feel so much better in this moment. Oh, I'm just... Oh, just... I'm like trembling with anger right now. I'm just so mad. Enough. Just keep talking. Big brother! Uh, at first, Big Sis Junko was looking for a corporation that could mass produce machines so that she could use them for the tragedy. That's why, to meet her expectations, Monica started making all the Mr. Monokumas, concentrating all of the resources of Toa Group's robotics branch. And just what was everyone else at Toa doing? Why did no one stop you? I lied. To Papa and Big Brother. I told them I was building robots that could be domestic helpers and emergency aid workers. And the adults actually bought that story? No, it's more like we turned a blind eye. Yeah, you guys deserved whatever mistakes you let happen. She was the outsider in our family. But she's tenacious, with a genius intellect. As long as she kept earning Toa Group money, we let her do whatever she wanted. This brat took advantage of her position and started mass producing these monsters on her own. Whatever, you're still at fault for not observing it. Who would let a small child run an entire. You don't know, you guys are dumb. I didn't know what the machines were even for, so as usual, I let her be. But I did think they had a weird design. And thanks to that, Monica made Big Sis Jinko so happy. She started using them for the incident. That's what helped the incident get bigger and bigger. That's when the old man finally realized what was up. And when he tried to stop you. It's a little too late to stop producing the Monokumas anyway, right? If we stopped, Big Sis Junko would reveal the whole thing. She would make it known that Toa Group built all those murder machines. And if she did that, Toa Group's finished. Monica, are you threatening me? Jeez, Papa, that's not it. It's more like... A business opportunity. This little bitch sold us the idea of making a weapon to fight the Monokumas. Y you made them, and then you sold the weapons to fight against them as well? 
The more out of hand the situation got, the more profitable Toa became. <laughs> Just what a filthy demon would do. We didn't have a choice. We were in too deep. You always had a choice. If we went against the Despair group, they'd reveal what Monica did under Toa's name. Then Toa makes enemies with both forces. We'd be shunned. Or extinct. But you'd be doing it for the greater good. Dumb piece of garbage. Anyways, Toa group did the right thing and chose to coexist with the Despair. And to the public, they looked like heroes fighting against the incident. But behind the scenes, they were working for both sides. The reason that air purifier they developed was so effective was because... Oh, yeah, that makes a lot of sense. That makes a lot of sense. They were part of the cause in the first place. That's why the incident didn't hit them as hard. Oh, of course. Those idiot adults didn't know that. So they worshipped Toa Group like they were saviors. But you better not blame this all on me. By the end, even Papa was into it. He supported the incident for money and honor. He ended up being a patron of Big Sis Junko. Toa Group? Junko Enoshima's patron? So that's why you distanced yourself from Future Foundation. You didn't want to get found out. No matter how rotten it is, Toa Group is still my legacy. I want to protect it. Mm. But the good times had to end eventually. Just when things were gonna get much, much more fun, Big Sis Junko died. All thanks to your brother, Miss Komaru Naegi. Since then, Future Foundation gained power, and Big Sis's influence got weaker and weaker. Monica tried her best to rebuild it by any means necessary, but Papa just said it's over, and gave up, like all the fickle wishy-washy adults do. Papa betrayed Big Sis. No matter what Monica said, Papa just wouldn't listen anymore. You couldn't forgive him for that, could you? That's why you targeted this city. That's what you told us, right? All we gotta do is fulfill the hopeful dream Big Sis Junko gave us. We shouldn't give up. We can't abandon hope. We need to build a paradise and take revenge against the adults who betrayed us. Monica is so grateful to the Warriors of Hope. Adults are dirty demons who killed Big Sis. You guys killed them off so well for me. I was so happy. It was just as I thought. Kids are so simple-minded. Oh. The truth is, Monica didn't really care about things like revenge and paradise. Man, I don't... You know, no matter how this whole thing ends... I really want Kotoko to live, and I really, 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 really just want her to spit on, like, Monica's face or something. Just get something out of her system. Succeeding Big Sis's will was far more important. Monica doesn't want Junko and Ashima's legacy to end. So that's how you came to the brilliant conclusion that you should become the successor? And in order to become the successor, what exactly did you do? Big Sis used to say all the time that she wanted to paint the world with despair. If someone could do that, don't you think they would make the best successor ever? What do you mean? War. Huh? Causing war. If a war breaks out, the world topples back into despair, right? War? What are you talking about, brat? You're bluffing. You're trying to trick us again, aren't you? You've got some ulterior motive. If you think so, why don't you just break that controller Ms. Komaru has? Break the controller, and start a war. I'm, okay, I'm, I'm, I'm a little confused. I don't... Okay, this is a lot to process. So, breaking the controller will start a war. How? It would kill off all the the Monokuma kids and the Monokumas, right? That's what it would do. How does that how does that how does that start a war? I don't get it. Okay, let's just move on. Wait, 
Why would a war break out if this controller is destroyed? Yes, go. Okay, this is what I want to know. I told you she's bluffing. She's just using reverse psychology. Oh, hey, come on, Monica, liar. You told me to talk. I told you to tell the truth, not spew more of your lies. Enough of this. No more talk. Destroy that controller right now. Huh? Hey. Hey, what are you doing? Don't tell me you seriously trust what this kid said. I don't I don't know if I trust her in what she said entirely. What I do know is I'm I'm feeling pretty confident that destroying this controller is gonna blow up a bunch of little kids' heads. And regardless of what Monica wants or what anyone else here wants, I don't wanna break the controller. You see, Toko doesn't want to break the controller anymore, either. Toko's figuring it out. Don't break the controller. W wait no! I can't break it yet! So, you're taking this little brat's word over mine? Well, heck yeah! It's not like that! No, it is oh, like that! I remember! Remember... what? A while ago, Monica and Kuro Kuma were having a secret talk. I was listening in. What are you talking about? Get to the point. At the time, I thought they were kidding. But maybe they weren't. If that's the case, this is very bad. What are you talking about? The Monokuma heads the kids are wearing. They're linked to the Monokuma's power source. If that power source is cut off, the helmets explode. Yes, that's what I'm... Okay, you're, you're right. Explode? If you destroy the controller, the Monokuma's stop. Okay, that's what I thought. But all the Monokuma heads will blow up! And then, headless children everywhere! Oh, come on, an exploding helmet? You expect us to believe that made-up bullshit? But I'm serious! I heard them say it! You know Monica would totally pull something like that! She betrayed the Warriors of Hope! She could do it without even feeling guilty about it! So... So mean, Kotoko, making me out you, to be the bad guy. You are the bad guy. Monica doesn't want the controller to be destroyed, bitch. <laughs> Rift in the group now, huh? Well, if you're both lying, you need to get your story straight. No, I'm serious. I heard it. That's enough. Destroy that thing already. N no, never ever destroy that controller. <sighs> Not gonna destroy it. Not gonna destroy it. Not breaking the controller. You can ask me a million times, I'm not doing it. Hey, what are you doing? Why aren't you destroying it? Because the children might die if I do. They're bluffing. I've been trying to tell you. Even if there's a small chance they're not. I can't do it. The kid's wearing those helmets. They're just being brainwashed. None of this is their fault. Not everyone involved was doing this of their own will. Brainwashing? Are you serious? Who the hell cares about that? I care about that. Huh? After all this, that excuse is not gonna fly. Even if they all died, they had it coming. You've seen what they did to us. They deserve it! You can't be serious. You're just blinded by revenge. Maybe I am. But how could I not be? After what they did to us, not even the harshest revenge is enough to make me forget what I've been through. Listen. Listen outside. The screams of the adults, the ones who lost everything. They Our loved ones the were same butchered scene. by those little brats. They took everything from us. But you were the one who told us to stand and fight, right? Don't put this on me. It's because of your speech that we're even here right now. If you really are our ally, then finish this. <laughs> I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna blow up people's heads. 
You are. You're our hope. Please. Don't betray us. Especially not people who didn't... Who didn't have control over what they're doing. Destroy the controller, please. Please just end this for us. We just want it to be over. <laughs> oh, hold on a minute. You can't fool me. Me? No, idiot. You. I'm talking to you. Hmm? Are you talking to Monica? I get it now. What you meant by war. You're trying to start a war between Toa City and Future Foundation. Oh, okay. No, I get it now. Okay. Oh, all right. I, I get it. So what happens is, is if the controller is, you know, broken and all the little kids lose their heads and the monokumas get destroyed, the adults would be like held accountable for all these dead kids everywhere. Like all the only people remaining are going to be the adults. And they're going to just see like bodies of like adults and small children and and Future Foundation, who has been completely cut off and unable to, like, assess the situation, is just going to be like, Oh, look at these crazy adults. Because they are crazy. <laughs> they're, they've, they've been driven to despair in, in their craziness. And they're going to be like, look at all these crazy adults. And they're going to come in and basically attack the city. And that's going to start a war. Because there's not going to be any kids who can own up to the fact they did that what i don't get what i don't get is like what is this supposed to do to kamaru like what is that what does, does everyone just claim that kamaru was the one who saved them all and then kamaru gets labeled as like the person who caused all the despair here or something like that and she becomes the successor is that i don't understand maybe i don't know this is a very convoluted plan you had going monica what? The children are killed. What would Future Foundation do when they found out? They'd think the adults who survived were behind it. And then they'd find out Toa Group was involved with manufacturing the Monokumas. From that evidence, I'm guessing Future Foundation would think the adults were remnants of despair. And if that happens, Future Foundation would crush this town immediately. That's the idea, isn't it? Nope, that's not quite it. Because it won't just end with the war between Toa and Future Foundation. Huh? Future Foundation isn't the only one who'd see the adults as remnants of despair. The true remnants of despair that are spread all over the world, they'd learn about the war in Toa City, and they'd come charging in. Toa City would become the heart of a resurgence of the despair that Big Sis Junko left us. Worthy of the name of Junko Enoshima. Wouldn't you agree? Are you serious with this? She can't be. She's bluffing anyway. Even if it were true, all you'd have to do is explain the situation to Future Foundation, right? I mean... And you're with them, right, Toko? I mean, you could straighten this all out easily. I, I, I mean, how much can Toko explain away at this point? Like, that's a lot of stuff to go down. Hmm, I don't know. Because the city shares a past with the incident, they won't take any chances. The moment they see the headless bodies of children in the streets, it's over. They wouldn't even care about their hostage or Miss Toko's testimony, don't you think? What? Child victims have quite an impact on people. It's just like I said from the beginning. Pitiful children are the most powerful. So that was your plan. Wow, this expression from Toko. You need the adults to take revenge so they will cause more child victims. You chose adults with no children because you thought they'd kill the kids with no remorse. I mean, adults with no children wouldn't have a single bit of mercy, would they? Not every adult. Wait then. We were... We were sorted and kept alive. How could you not figure that out? You, you really are dumb. 
You used Kamaru to incite the adults to take revenge against the kids, didn't you? Huh? <laughs> Monica may have helped things along, but Miss Kamaru's transformation was her own doing. That delicate little girl maturing, growing to overcome the despair as hope itself. You even grew to care about this town, wanting to save it, becoming the hope for the adults. But even so, you know hope isn't always a good thing. At times, hope can be a terrible burden. It can be a drive to hurt others, just like now. That's... What did you think would happen if you gave people who watch their loved ones die hope? Did you think they'd all be positive, working together nice and peacefully? Of course not! They will turn into demons. Demons who live for revenge. You see? Just listen to them. Are we gonna replay that cutscene again? children are gonna explode. Rather, they sound pretty excited about it, don't you think? That's the sound of people who have completely transformed into demons. And this is all your fault, Big Sis. M me It's because you stirred up the adults. It's your hope that turned them into demons, you know? So that makes it all, all, all your fault, Miss Komaru Nayagi. What are you talking about? It's not Kamaru's fault, it's yours! Wait! Listen to what she's saying! Yeah, she keeps calling Kamaru Big Sis. If what she said is true, then she should have wanted to destroy the controller right away. She could have just destroyed the damn thing herself. Then she would have her war. No, she wants Kamaru to do it! No, that wouldn't do! That would not be worthy of the successor, now would it? She stood. Monica stood up. Oh, she's been on the ground the entire time. That's not important right now. Not just the city, but the whole world. How could this happen? So, anyways, what are you gonna do, huh? How are you gonna end this? Are you gonna kill the children and play the savior, or are you gonna spare the children's lives and let them keep slaughtering the adults? Who lives? Who dies? That is your choice. There's no way to save both. One side has to die, and you're going to kill them. <laughs> now, it's about time you made your final choice. The final choice you can make as Komaru Naegi. Choose wisely! Not gonna break it. No. No, it's impossible. I. I can't break it. No. You're gonna break it, alright. Monica knows. Huh? You're gonna destroy the controller, and then the children's heads are gonna explode. And that's when the war begins. And the successor, a new splendid symbol of despair, will be born. Y you don't know that. And, like, there's no way I'd ever accept you as a successor in the first place! There's no way you can be a vessel of Big Sis Juko! Hotoko, when did I ever say that Monica wanted to be the successor? Boom! Got it. It was pretty obvious, though. Huh? Monica's not the one who's going to be the successor. It's gonna be Miss Komaru Naegi. Paint the world with despair. That's what Big Sis Junko always used to say, you know? And what could be more despair-inducing than having Makoto Naegi's sister be the successor? So... The one who's gonna murder all these kids has to be Miss Komaru herself. What? What are you saying? Oh, don't worry. 
It's not hard. All you have to do is destroy the controller. I've already prepared cameras so that the moment is recorded and sent to Future Foundation. Oh. With Monica's video message as a bonus set. Monica already declared that Miss Komara Naegi will succeed the legacy of Big Sis Junko. There we go. Okay. What do you mean? Why would I? Like I said, don't listen to her. She's just trying to keep you from destroying it. <laughs> Big brother, you've just been saying that over and over. Adults don't like change. You shitty little brat. Enough. Give me the controller. I'll destroy it myself. But if we do that, the children will die. What else are we supposed to do? We have to end this massacre. What about all the adults who died? Are we just going to forget about them? That has nothing to do with this or that. Don't go dragging us into your revenge. Kamaru has nothing to do with this. That's right. There's no reason to kill them. You don't have to be a part of this one bit. No need, no reason. No relation. That's the difference between Big Brother and Miss Komaru. This isn't personal for her. But I knew that might be a problem, so Monica made sure to make a special request to get Miss Komaru to want revenge. I needed help from her parents. <gasps> oh no. <sighs> now come on over here. Let's open the gates of hell with Monica. You too, Mom and Dad. The climax is gonna start soon. Your child will be born again as the successor to Junko and Oshima. <laughs> what? What do you mean, revenge? Are you ready for this? Take a body break? Get a list of insults ready for Monica? Have you mentally prepared yourself to surrender to despair? Unable to suppress the urge to kill? Then I'll show you! What? More bodies again? You don't have to show them, you know. I'm already well aware how terrible you are. After all this, you're still showing off killing adults? How crazy are you? Kumaru? She probably wrote the message on the floor with her dying breath. I, I don't, okay. I, like, I don't, I don't disagree that she died, but it, it looked like she was hung. And you can't just, like, how are you going to be hung and, like, write someone's name on the ground? And then how did her dress, like, drag on the ground enough to, like, get a perfect imprint of the name on the dress? That's really, really, that's incredibly convoluted. But when she collapsed, the blood stuck. That's how those letters ended up on her skirt. Kumaru? Makoto? That's a little, that's weird. Did you notice? She wrote the names of her children before she died. You have such loving parents. I'm jealous. Family love. It sounds so nice. Something I've never felt my whole life.
Was there like, did they get like cut up somewhere else before? And like she, she wrote the thing and then they just strung them up at the end? Lies. It's just a lie. Those bodies. No, it couldn't be. There's no way. Normally a dying message is something like writing the killer's name. Oh, that's not a very convincing argument at all. You can't refute me like that. You hate me, don't you? You hate me, right? I mean, their faces were obscured. Is it possible that, like, those weren't her parents? I don't know. I'm just trying to rationalize that, like, Kamaru to calm down from the situation, I guess. I played with the bodies of your family like toys. And now you want to kill me, right? But no, wait! That's a lie! Well, I'm not so sure about that. You said your parents are missing, right? Hey, what are you... Showing it to you right now, like this? That means it's gotta be true, without a doubt. No, more like it could be a lie that she's just, like, this is a last-ditch effort and that was the last thing that she had. Maybe the reason why she didn't show it earlier was because it could have been easily found out that it wasn't real. I don't know. I don't trust, I don't trust anything Monica has to say. Now are you gonna just forget the fact that this bitch murdered your own parents? Shame on you. That's not fair! You said she was bluffing a minute ago! You can't think of them as children. They're not anymore. They're the ones who are demons. Destroy that controller and finish it! Kill them all! Not just for your sake, or your parents' sake, but for everyone who was murdered! Hold on. We can't just do something like that. It, it's fine. Kamaru? If you want me to destroy it that much, I'll do it. I said hold on. Calm down and think carefully. Come Shut up! <laughs> Who cares anymore? No matter what happens to adults, no matter what happens to children, no matter what happens to this town, no matter what happens to the world, I don't give a damn anymore. I don't give a damn. Kamaru? Toko, I'm sorry. I. <laughs> it's impossible. I. I can't become like Makoto. <laughs> You don't have to be Makoto. This is all determined from the very start. The hope you felt was just for the sake of making you feel the worst kind of despair. I knew from the beginning that you would fall into despair. Oh no! Oh no! What, what do I do? Do I just idle on this? Do I just... Do I have to pick here? Is there no other option? I can't back out of it. Can't pause. I've hit every button besides the... Yeah, okay, so... I... Uh. Toko, please grab that out of my hand. Oh, no, 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 no! Destroy it! That's not how she really feels. 
I'm sure she's actually thinking that that she doesn't want to do it. Huh. How the hell could you possibly know that? I, I don't know how. I just know. Huh? I've been told you weren't the type to interfere. That's why I chose you to take on the role of escort. But it appears that the information Mr. Servant provided was false. So, how about this? That's right! It's the key to the room where Mr. Byakuya Togami is locked inside! Say, you wanna trade this key for that controller? If you do, you can go home with Mr. Byakuya Togami! You're telling me to choose between Kamaru and Master? <laughs> now it's your turn to make a choice! Fine then. Hand over Master's key. I knew you'd do it! Now, why don't you just hand me that controller? No, not gonna happen. Huh? Because... I'm taking Kamaro home with me as well. What are you saying? You gotta make a choice, that's the rules. Who... Who cares about your damn rules? You want me to make a choice? There's no way I could ever make that choice! I wouldn't choose one and leave the other behind! Both are... Both are important to me! So... So... I'll definitely protect both! What the heck? That's just unreasonable. Enough already! Just hand over that controller! Ah! I'll crush it! I'll never... I'll never hand it over! If you want me to hurt you even more... Hurt? That means nothing to me! I'm sure you don't understand, since you have plenty of disposable friends, but... I finally made a friend in Komaru, and I'm not going to hurt my friend, so... I'll never hand it over! Shut up! In order to keep the kids under control and end this nightmare, this is the only way! No! <sighs> You're the ones who are out of control! Ow! Let go! I won't let go! Hey, what are you guys doing? What? are you t going on about? <sighs> oh, Kamaru. That hurts. Wh what? You, you hit me! My hand hurts. But that's not the only thing that hurts. This is the first time I've ever slapped someone in the face. See what you've made me do? Now come on. Hit me back. Huh. Why? Isn't it obvious? It... It makes us even. I've never had a friend. So I... I don't... know what to do in situations like this. So just... For now, if you hit me, we're square, right? <sighs> so, hit me. Fine. Whew. That was pretty strong. Jeez. You're right. You're right. <laughs> My hand hurts. 
That's not the only thing that hurts. Yeah. We're the same. If you can't do something on your own, all I have to do is help you. Oh. If I can't do something on my own, all you have to do is help me. Helping each other. That's the advantage of working together, right? Yeah. And just so you know, I won't comfort you or pity you. I'm not good at that stuff. And we still don't know if... if those were really your parents. We can't be distracted by the stuff that doesn't make sense. Focus on what's happening now. I... I really, like... The thing is, is like they they looked kind of like Kalmar's parents from what I remember of the the family picture. Like they at least had the right hairstyle and maybe even the right outfits. But I mean, we didn't get to see their face clearly and also I don't understand why like the I, I don't I don't understand how, like, the the blood would have picked up exactly on her dress or skirt or whatever it was. Like, I don't understand, like, how she was able to, like, write it when I, I didn't see, like, obvious blood. Like, if their outfits were bloody or I saw, like, their arms bleeding or something. But it looked way clean cut and they just looked like they were hung. It was almost like Monica was aiming to just try and make it look like Kamaru's parents had died and that the evidence was going to be, oh, look at the names clearly imprinted on her dress, which just makes the whole setup confusing. What do you want to do right now? Have you decided? Yeah, I have. I mean, it just feels like a setup. I want to protect both. I'm not going to play her sick little game. I'm going to save the adults and the children. <laughs> Greedy girl. Can't say I don't approve. Um, okay, boss fight, right? like it's targeting us or maybe it's aiming for the controller what should we do bust it up fight I'll fight I've decided I'll fight to protect everyone Toko will you help me isn't it obvious it's normal for friends to help each other Okay. Kamaru, let's show them. You and I, the power of the ultra dangerous sisters. Huh? What's that? Well, you told me to think about it, so I did. What? Not satisfied? Not good enough oh, for you? Oh, shoot! <laughs> um. Oh, this was the safe how spot. Will we try to top that. You're right. Is this old lady just out of touch? No, it's the children who are wrong. They're tracking you. No use running. You have to repel them. Oh, heart. Oh my gosh, I ran out of bullets. Oh, 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 I was supposed to switch to her, wasn't I? Oh, okay. What is that? Okay, how was I supposed to dodge that? Oh, shoot. Am I supposed to, like... Hit it with the right color.
Oh. I won't lose. Okay. I won't give up anymore. I won't abandon anyone. I won't give in. I won't fall into despair. Back. This town is doomed. I'll fall into despair. No, that's wrong. Damn, Kamaru. You go, girl. Okay, I don't know how to dodge that. Wait a minute. Oh wait, 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 wait. I was supposed to jump on that, wasn't I? What is going on? Shirokuma? Shirokuma was piloting that the whole time? She had died. She's alive. And now it's over. It, it's not over yet. Nothing's finished yet. This is just... It's just delaying the inevitable. The children are still brainwashed. The adults still want revenge. Well, maybe we can find a way of, like, getting the helmets off the kids without killing them. In fact, they're even more angry now, having their hope killed like that. So nothing's changed! This isn't a happy ending, or a sad one. This isn't hope or despair! Nothing has changed. So are you gonna kill Monica? Take a little revenge for yourself? I mean, we could, but we could also just, I don't know, leave you here so that way you die under the rubble. It's just fine. 
If Monica is killed by Makoto Naegi's sister, that should be enough to spare. Give me the key to Byakuya's room. Huh? Hand it over. At this point, I suppose I have to compromise. With no more hostage, future Foundation will come, and the remnants of despair will follow. Maybe it's not going exactly to plan, but maybe a small-scale war will start. I'll compromise. Monica has to be an adult sometimes, after all. But this really has nothing to do with you two, does it? This town, this planet, they don't matter to you two. You just want your happy ending. You're not even letting me have a small taste of despair! <laughs> Yak all you want. Let's go, Kamaru. Monica miscalculated. I overestimated you. Though I guess Monica was not the only one. You thought too highly of yourself as well. Monica tried to imitate Big Sis Junko. You tried to imitate your brother. But in the end, we both failed. Neither of us could live up to expectations. There's no way I could imitate him. And no way I'd want to. I am not my brother. Makoto is Makoto. And I am me. Don't mess with me. An ending without hope or despair? Monica will definitely... Huh? Get out of here! I, I gotta get out of here! Yes, please survive. Please survive. Hey, Otoko? I better not hear you beg for your life just because your plan didn't work. Huh? You must have noticed by now. I was acting this whole time. But even now, I love you lots. Even though you betrayed me, my feelings haven't changed. So, it'd be great if you could die in a totally adorbs death. Bye bye forever. <laughs> oh, sweet revenge. B big brother, don't you want to take your revenge on Monica? Don't you want to kill Monica? You weren't satisfied with this, right? You weren't just going to walk away. He's out of it. I don't want it to end like this either. Big sis Junko would hate me if I let it end like Hope, despair, I don't care anymore. <laughs> I'm sure you're filled with plenty of despair right now, Monica. So this is what despair feels like. Yeah. <laughs> Rest in peace. There's really no point worrying about it now. More importantly, we need to save Master and get out of here right away. Mm -hmm. What happened? I, I know I can save both the adults and the children. Well, we can chat about it after we get out of this damn town, once and for all. Toko, I... I'm staying in this town. Huh? Achievement unlocked. Hopeful. Hopeful. 
I missed a child, though. Wait a minute. I missed two! I didn't find Monica! I... I finally realize. You actually make me angry and happy each time. You have more influence over me than anyone. Let's be together for the rest of our lives. Grow old together. Die together. For now, we depart. Take off towards our future. Why am I learning a new skill at the end of the game? Is there another chapter? What? I thought it was going to end here. Achievement unlocked. This whore will grow mild. Epilogue. The changing world we made. No! Why did she live? Oh, you're awake? You were lucky. You would surely have perished if I wasn't there to save you. Why? I changed my mind and decided to stay in this town a while longer. And while I'm here, <clears throat> I figured I should see this through to the very end. That's not what I meant. Oh, you mean why I saved you? Because I'm the same as you. I'm disappointed with endings that waver between despair and hope. I wish a real war had started. If it did, I know a brilliant hope would have been born. That is why I allowed myself to be captured, after all. So you did it on purpose? But you aren't finished yet, right? Nothing has really changed since you began. So, I need you to continue working hard. So that a splendid hope may be born. You have tasted the bitter despair of having your meticulous plan fall apart around you. So I know you can do it. Really? Which side are you on? Does it even matter? Anyway, why don't you be the successor for now? If that is your intention, I will lend you a hand. If my schedule allows it, of course. I want to pause and talk, but there I can't. There is somewhere I need to be later. What do you mean? I shall raise you to be her copy. One even more realistic than the real one. Someone like me, who both hates and loves her more than anyone else. I should be able to make you more like her than even she herself was. Gross. Wouldn't it be funny if she actually, like, broke her legs because of this? It'd be the funniest thing. <laughs> Are they still at it with that success or whatever? You're talking too loud. They'll hear you. They can hear all they fucking want. A bunch of chumps teaming up together makes them suck even more. Well, when you think about it, the plan was flawed from the beginning. Trying to create a successor while the original still exists? What? I know this was kind of my idea, but kids sure are stupid idiots. Not just the kids. The adults are idiots, too. Just by causing a little unrest, just pushing them a teeny bit, I had them spinning around in the palms of my hands. Despite how you look, you sure are wicked inside. Even if the outside's white, the inside's pitch black. You a rice ball or something? I may be wicked, but you are too. After all, we are. No, not we. Maybe I, or maybe... It's me! <laughs> well, they're pretty much the same. White despair, black hope. 
In the end, neither won. But I guess that works too. I mean, I didn't really give a damn about this town from the beginning. The fact that those guys will take an interest in this place will yield a much more fruitful harvest. Hey, don't you think so? Personally, I think they did a pretty good job for a group of kids. Hey, hey, don't you think so? Thanks to them, the preparations are nearly complete. Laying the foundations for the final match. It's so despairingly perfect. Hey, 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 don't you... What the fudge? Oh, you're so forceful. What, what? Am I being too noisy for you? I see. I didn't know oh. you still felt such emotions. Or perhaps you're forcing yourself to feel something in a situation like this. Well, not that it matters. Anyway, I leave the rest to you. Though I'm sure the next time I see you, you'll be someone else entirely. <laughs> I hope you can at least have a little fun. How'd you may, right? I hope the future is going to be one you can't predict. was waiting to hear from you. Who, me? <laughs> I'm so relieved. I'm glad you're oh. safe, Byakuya. I thought for a second he was, like, talking to, like, me, the player. Well, safe enough, I suppose. Are you outside Toa City? You must be if this connection is secure, right? Yeah. I use the secret passageway under the shrine. The captives are safe, thanks to the relative of that idiot we know so well. I'll introduce you to her later. She's much more talented and useful than he is. What's your position? I'll send rescue right away. Before you do, there's something you need to know. Huh? Komaru Naegi and Toko Fukawa are not with me. Not with you? Why? I'll let her explain. Her? She asked that I send you this message. It might be garbled a bit, but it'll do. Um... Can you see me, Makoto? You're surprised that I'm not leaving, right? Sorry for making you worry. There's a lot I want to say. But first, let me explain why I'm not there. Why? Why are you bringing up something like that? Do you feel responsible for their revenge? But that wasn't your fault. You can't feel bad about that, not even a little. No, that's not it. It doesn't matter whose fault it is. This is my decision. Then why are you doing this? Didn't you want to get out of this place and live a normal, peaceful life? But now you want to stay here? That's like the complete opposite. You're right. You... It's not because you feel despair. No, of course not. I don't want to get slapped again. <laughs> then why? Even I'm not totally sure. But earlier, when I said how I want to save both, all the scary feelings and hesitation I've felt were gone. Even though the odds were against us, for some reason... I felt courage. I think it's because I was confident that that was what I needed to do. But what would happen if I leave this town with you and Biakia? What would happen if Future Foundation came here to suppress the riot and uncover the secret? And then what would happen if the remnants of hope were to find this place? It would turn into a war. Just like Monica said, 
So you're saying you're going to be this town's hostage in place of master? Until now, I kept relying on you. And I never really got to make decisions on my own. But I was like that even before I met you. I used to give up all the time. But the decision to save everyone was one I made on my own. Of course, I'm scared and I'm worried. But despite that, I've made up my mind. I won't give up until the very end. I'll make sure I protect both. Idiot. You're awfully optimistic after all this. <sighs> Seriously, what are you thinking? You're just like your brother sometimes. <laughs> no. I think I got it from you. Huh? Me? You were with me all this time. If I have changed, it's your influence, Toko. <laughs> For now, I'm going to be fine. This is much better than imprisoned life regardless. So don't worry about me. Go back with Byakuya. You two are the only ones who can persuade Future Foundation not to interfere here. So please, don't be mad. What? Of course I'm mad. Jeez, why do I have to stay behind in a town like this? I... Oh, no, you misunderstood. I meant I'm the one who's gonna stay here. If you're going to stay, there's no way I can leave. I decided to be with you too, remember? Toko, do you really think some brother complex girl like you can be master's substitute? In a hostage trade, you and I are barely enough for one, Master Byakuya. <laughs> so, I'll stay with you. That's the decision I made. No complaining. But you said you wanted to go home with Byakuya. Hm. I don't need your concern. Master and I are rock solid. Even if we're apart, our feelings towards each other will never change. He can, <laughs> he can hear all of this. Yes, that's correct. Huh? <laughs> Master Byakuya! It's true what you said. Even if we're apart, my feelings of disgust toward you will never change. Master? <sighs> That's refreshing. The reason I've decided to stay isn't because someone forced me to. It's a choice I made myself. But I know that I can't just expect things to change right away, just because I'm staying. I know that I can't become real hope, like you. So, I'm going to wait. I'm going to wait for the day you guys defeat the remnants of despair, and come home safe. Uh, but, you don't have to rush or anything, okay? I'll wait until the day you come to pick me up. I have the gun Mr. Byakuya gave me, and... I have my reliable friend Toko, and about mom and dad, I didn't find anything. I went to the torture room later, but it was empty. The film that girl forced me to watch must have been recorded earlier. Or fake. That means there's a chance they're alive and well somewhere, right? Maybe even somewhere in this city. That's what I choose to believe. Okay, sorry, this video is getting pretty long. I guess I should wrap it up. The next time you see me, I might be so grown up you don't even recognize me. Just like how surprised I was when I saw you. See you later, Makoto. So that's the situation. I thought all your sister was good for was cowering in fear. But there you have it. Seriously? Well... She surprised me before. Hey, Makoto. You know what we have to do, right? We have to stop this idiotic war and return here to retrieve them. We wouldn't want to betray their expectations. Yeah, you're right. I've made up my mind, Byakuya. If a situation like this ever happens again, no matter how dangerous the trap, I'm jumping right in. So I can end it properly. My own two hands. 
hearing you say that reminds me of what you said back at the Academy. Huh? Hope keeps going, huh? Fine. I'll partner with you for just a little while. At least until I've repaid the debt I owe to Toko and your sister. Yeah. That was nice. Um, what is this? Oh, it's the credits! Oh, okay, nice. I'm gonna probably, you know, you know what? I should probably lower this volume because I'm gonna find out later that this is like copywritten or something. So we're gonna just drop the volume there. Um, so. I guess I, I really like this game, you know, c considering that I didn't know how I was going to feel about a Danganronpa game that uh, that ultimately was not going to be a, a visual novel. This was quite, quite nice. Um, I, I still never liked the, the, the controls never felt very good. <laughs> like, I, I felt like I was fighting with the camera a lot, but... Despite all of that, it was never so impossibly hard that, you know, I couldn't, I couldn't beat the game. So it, it wasn't like the difficulty was, re required me to have like really good controls. So that's, I guess that's the trade-off there. And I think that they must have known that themselves because they, they definitely didn't make the game hard. And throwing in Toko's broken power of basically, what, I don't know, invincibility plus just you know, just her general ability to slaughter waves and waves of monokumas. Whenever I felt I was overwhelmed or if I was going to die or there was an attack that I didn't quite understand, I actually took the time to just kind of like switch to um, basically, uh, you know, switch to Toko and then used her as, as a, a substitute of basically losing health. Um, how do I feel about the characters? Uh, you know, before this game came around, I never, I, I wouldn't say I hated Toko Fukawa because I, I didn't hate her, but she was not one of my favorite characters of the original Danganronpa. I didn't, I didn't hate her, but I also didn't like her. She was just okay. And I thought she was interesting in, in the original Danganronpa, like as a character, just being interesting, but I never thought to myself like, Oh, like, I, I really wanted her to be one of the survivors. It was just nice um, that she was an interesting character. So, how do I feel now? I feel like Toko is, like, one of the best Rumpa characters in the game, which is crazy, because I, I, I love it. Um, I love her. Uh, how do I feel? I, I You know, we didn't get to see much of Makoto, but... He seems like, yeah, Makoto. And Byakuya was, yeah, Byakuya. Um, who else was a returning character in this? Um, 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 um. You know, and then this will get me probably some people angry, but when I originally played Danganronpa 2, I didn't like Nagito. I didn't hate him, but it was definitely like, like in a, in a dislike category. Also, wait a minute, what is that scene going on in the background? I don't remember that scene. I don't remember this scene either. What is that? Okay, what? No, this is definitely... I didn't see this at all. This is definitely not from the game. What? At the very end, did they just, like, clip together random scenes? Oh, wait. I think the song's about to end, or maybe not. No, no selection song. Okay, whatever. Song's over. Hopefully I brought the volume level up to an appropriate amount, in case there's like an ending cutscene here. Oh shoot. All right then. <laughs> I had completely forgotten, um... I was gonna say, I, I like I like it when villains are more complex than just I'm a bad person doing bad things. Um, so like the kids all having like the reasonings why they were, and even Monica had like 
she was terrible and awful, but, you know, there was some justification, like, how did she get to that point? Like, what was, like, it wasn't that she was just born crazy. She clearly had, like, the, the influences around her definitely caused her to become like that. So, I think, I think that's always more interesting than just, like, some bad guy who shows up at the end and he's just, like, the ultimate evil that you have to defeat. Anyways, let's c continue. Hey! You aren't ready yet? D don't shout so early in the morning. You're not really a morning person, are you? Are you secretly staying up late without me? Thanks to your jimmy legs and snoring, I can't get a good night's sleep. <laughs> I am so not snoring. But it's true I might toss and turn while I'm asleep. And it wasn't just snoring. You were talking in your sleep, saying, Makoto! Lies! Definitely lies! And if you want to get a good night's sleep, why don't you go sleep in your own bed? We're in a hotel. There's plenty of other rooms. Don't be an idiot. What happens if a ghost shows up? Oh, so you're into occult stuff now. <laughs> well, you really did get possessed, right? So ghosts do exist, right? Well, I guess that's just one more thing you're afraid of now. It's all your fault. Come on, let's go. If we don't keep a watchful eye, these people are going to start fighting again. No time to slack off. Well, but you're the one who woke up late. <laughs> hey! I told you to wait! Aw, oh, come on, Toki! She called her Toki. Is she okay with that now? <gasps> oh, look! It's, um... Uh, Usami? Is that her name? Is that it? Achievement unlocked. An end that re... I couldn't read it at all. You can now read the spin-off novel Ultra Despair Hagakure. You can now make use of the bonus mode where you can view CGs and listen to BGMs. By loading the cleared save data with start, you can check them out. Thanks for playing. Oh, I guess we better save. Oh, you can start from a chapter. Extra? Oh, you can buy these. CG gallery. Oh, there's a lot of stuff. Wait a minute, can I go down and see? Was the, was the crazy ones I saw at the end gonna be down here? Where is it? Oh, there it is! Monica afterwards. Oh, I don't have a lot of coins because I, I bought stupid stuff with them. Hold on. Let's buy these. Because... Okay, so, yeah, she's she's trying to look like uh, Junko. Children afterwards. It looks like the, there's Monokuma kids coming to find them. Oh, does that mean that they all survive, though? That's so, oh, thank God. I'm so glad that they survived. Adults afterwards. Okay, so there's like a group of adults who are still crazy. We don't need that. Game record, genocide mode, easy result. Kamaru mode, normal result. Spare mode, hard result. Oh, so like each of the modes has like 
points. Okay. Yeah, go ahead and save this. So what? Ultra Despair Hagakure. I have no idea what this is. Um, I might go through this anyways. Anyway, uh, but I have been recording for um, over two hours and I'm going to probably take a break. Um, this is the end of Ultra Despair Girls and I had a really great time. There's a couple things that I wanted to do with um, Dalgarampa outside of just closing out Ultra Despair Girls. I'm thinking about, well, maybe I'll go through this novel and you guys can watch that. It'll be its own separate thing aside from this. But the other thing I wanted to do was that I never actually watched the anime Danganronpa 3. The, um, I guess it, it's like the, the, the closing, uh, I don't know. It's like the end cap to the entire uh, series aside from V3 which is like its own separate thing um so I was thinking about watching that anime I have a couple ideas on how I will kind of record myself watching it because I obviously can't upload like the video of me watching it and have that stuff spoiled or whatever so um I'll probably find a way of watching it and just kind of like giving you guys my thoughts as I go through it and uh, yeah, you'll have to you'll have to check look out for that, okay? And um, yeah, thank you guys so much for enjoying this series with me. Uh, aside from the uh, aside from the Danganronpa stuff, I think the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to play through Steinsgate. I hope you guys look forward to that. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.